Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. So today I am going to show you a very interesting thing. Okay, see, I have a glass with me. See, this is a glass and I will take some water into it. Can you see the water? Okay. Okay, so I have some water into it. Now, see the magic. Okay, the glass is open and now I will hold this glass and one, two and three, turn it upside down. Ooh, you can see the water didn't fall down. Even if the, water, the glass gone 360 degree round and at a, at a certain point, at this point, the glass was upside down but the water didn't fall down. What is the reason behind it? Let's see what is the reason behind it. See, I have an object here. Can you see? An object tied with a string and I am holding it here. And I will rotate it. You can see this object is moving, but it is not moving in a straight line. It is moving in which path? In a curvilinear path. Yes, exactly. It is moving in a curvilinear path. But when it is moving in a curvilinear path, it is not moving from its own path. You can see it is neither going out and nor coming towards my hand where I am rotating it. Okay, so the, my, my hand is the point of axis around which it is rotated. So let's see the same thing that I have shown you right now. Okay, the same thing is here also. Okay, and same concept is used here. So let us see which concept it is. The concept is two forces are acting on this object. Those two forces are known as centripetal force and centrifugal force. So we'll learn about the centripetal and centrifugal force. And this is the way that the object is moving in a circular path. When it is moving in a circular path, you can see two forces are acted on it. The first one is centripetal force that is directed towards the center of the circle. And another one is the centrifugal force that is acting on the object directed away from the center of the circle. So these two forces are equal and it is balancing the object to be in the circular path and will not change the path. Neither it will go away, neither it will come inside. So this is the reason the object remains in the circular path. Now let's see in the case of that glass and the water. The water due to the force of gravity tends to go down but it is there in, inside the glass and it is not going down. Now when the glass is rotated at some point the glass was upside down but then also the water didn't fall due to gravity. What is the reason? The reason is that the wa water tends to go outside away from the center due to centrifugal force but that side it is objected by the bottom of the glass and that's why it is not going out and neither it is falling down because both the force acted on the water centripetal and centrifugal remain same and due to that water didn't fall and this is the reason when the glass makes a 360 degree round but the water didn't fall i hope you have enjoyed this video and you can do it at your home try it with a big bucket okay with feel of love water then you will feel the excitement okay so thank you all of you and have a good day try it at your home bye, -bye.